And as once again on Sports 7 GH, it's always, always a pleasure to hear from you and to watch you and for you to watch us here on this channel, Sports 7 GH. Um, I don't know if you've heard, but if you've not heard, there are a lot of rumors that Thomas Tuchel is on the short list to becoming the next Black Stars coach of the senior national team, the Ghana Black Stars. What is the truth? about that particular story and um, have you also heard that Kwesia Pia is also in the race to become the next Blasters coach? What is the truth about those stories? We are going to bring you um, up to speed updates um, on this channel Sports 7 GH. Do all to stick and stay with us as we bring you a lot more fantastic details about those stories. Please do all to subscribe to the channel if this is your first time watching us here. Like this video. Do all to hit the notification bell and select all. Um, hit the subscribe button and also leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section. Let me know your thoughts and views in the comments section section should Ghana should Ghana go for Thomas Tuchel former Chelsea manager um, as our Black Stars coach should we go for Aquasia Pia as our Black Stars coach um, let me know your thoughts and views also Chris Sutton is still in the news should we go for him let me know what you think about the next Black Stars coach who should it be or who shouldn't it be over there thank you very much for staying with S one second now, the senior national team, the Black Stars, obviously needs a coach right now because Otuado left his position as the main coach or the head coach of the senior national team, the Black Stars, after the 2022 World Cup when the senior national team, the Black Stars, exited from the World Cup. So obviously, the senior national team needs a coach, okay, who will lead us into Afcon qualifiers next year in March subsequently in the afcon 2024 to be played in ivory coast um somewhere 2024 so we need a coach but there is another school of thoughts who thinks that look we don't obviously need a, in fact we've been appointing coaches since keto kreku took over but it has just been failure after another failure after another failure at tournaments and so therefore we should have a fantastic plan a plan for the senior national team, the Black Stars. A plan for our all our national teams, which will inculcate the Black Stars, so that we will have a fantastic progression for our players, right from the under 17, under 20, up to the top, and then um, they will mature at the, um, the Black Stars level and deliver for the senior national team. So people are saying that, look, fine, we need a coach, but that shouldn't be our priority now. Our priority and the conversation, the national conversation, should be that what is the national plan for the senior national team, the Black Stars? What is the plan for our national teams? The FA should come out with some five years plan, 10 years, 15 years plan for our national teams having in place where, or having the Black Stars as part of it so that we will know that at this point in time our plan will mature at this time and then we would uh, they will graduate with the black stars and do wonders at maybe the 20 30 world cup or so you get a point again people are saying that look the plan in fact i agree with them that's why i'm, I'm also giving it as a preload before we come to the thomas to show this thing now um the plan will also uh, determine the type of coach we go for if the Ghana Football Association, with all the technical men in Ghana, all the brilliant technical brains we have in Ghana, the technical director of the FA and everything, and um, devise a plan for our national teams, that plan will also show us Ghanaians um, what type of um, coach should uh, we should go for. Whether we should go for a coach that will be possessing, whether we should go for a coach that will sit back and hit on the counter, what type of coach we will be going for. So, the plan is a very important one that i agree with all those giving that particular um conversation and that's why i'm saying it now i don't know but today we had the news about thomas tuchel uh, on the short list of this uh, of, of the fa and can likely be the next blasters coach of the of the senior national team now thomas tuchel at chelsea you know his last job um at the top highest level was with chelsea he was paid seven million pounds a year okay seven million pounds a year and if you divide seven million pounds by 12 you are getting around five hundred and eighty thousand um, pounds every month it's not dollars though it is pounds every month that is the amount of money thomas tuchel was getting now 
you move forward and then you see that Thomas Tuchel, fine, he's a fantastic coach. He's a coach who has achieved. In fact, he won the Champions League with Chelsea and all of that. He's shown that he's a quality um, 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 manager. His quality is never in doubt. You get a point. So every Ghanaian would welcome him. But he's also a manager who, that will not allow the Ghana Football Association to dictate for him. It will never happen. <laughs> it will never happen. Even with Chelsea, the last time he was getting or oh, he, he was signed in his last days at Chelsea. In fact, the, the manager, the owner of Chelsea wanted to dictate for him that he should go for Cristiano Ronaldo and all of that. And he said, No, I'm not going for Ronaldo because he's not in my plans. He stood his grounds and ensured that his decision stood. So he's a coach that the Ghana Football Association can never dictate for him. And the point I made about his salary was that the Ghana Football Association, the country Ghana, cannot pay a a, a manager like Thomas Tuchel, we can't. Five hundred and eighty thousand pounds every month. If in fact one hundred thousand dollars square, we cannot pay. <laughs> you get a point. One hundred and fifty thousand dollars square. No. The Ghana cannot pay. You get a point. So I don't know where that news is coming from, but I can tell you for a fact that Thomas Tuchel um, will not join the senior national team, the Black Stars. He will not, unless there is a little, the, there is a different twist. But the point is that there is no way he will join the Black Stars. In fact, uh, um, he's still at the highest level of his career. He would love to join club footballs, compete in the Champions League and all of that, and then win um, titles, but not to join the senior national team, the Black Stars. And the, the, the reasons why he will not join are so clear that Thomas Tuchel is not in the news as I speak to you. There have also been some news about Kwesia Pia and all of that. And people say Kwesia Pia can, uh, can, 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 can develop our talents. We have quality, talented players and that he has done it before and all of that. But I, I am surprised hearing Kwesia Pia's name as of now. Because look, what did Kwesia Pia achieve with the Black Stars? What? 2014 World Cup qualification, that is all. Nothing again. What? What again? Maybe a final in what? No, 2017 World uh, Afcon. We didn't go anywhere. No, I think semi final. Yeah, okay, fine. But 20, 2019 Afcon, symbolic round of 16 exit. So, what do we remember about Kwesiapia? The only thing we remember about Kwesiapia is the fact that he's able to identify talent for us. He identified Christian Achu and all of that. You get a point? So, I don't know why the name of Kwesiapia is still in the news that Kwesiapia should come and take over from the Black Stars and all of that. But I don't think it is something that will help us at all. No. So, Tushar, no. Kwesiapia, no. Chris Hilton is still in the news. Chris Hilton has not given up. He still some. He wants the Ghana job. In fact, the government wants Chris Hilton. But the point is that the Ghana Football Association don't see, seems seems not to like him. That is the fact. That is the fact. They seem not to like him because look, I don't know, but they think that he, he's not going to help Ghana. He's not going to. Um, and that's why they started that particular propaganda that look Chris Hilton was part of our fellow at the World Cup and so we don't have to appoint him we have to go in for a, diff a new a, a different coach um, a totally different coach and all of that but um, I don't know why they wouldn't appoint Chris Hilton but I think Chris Hilton is someone who 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 who, who will help us very well and um, as it stands now the financial requirements he will be okay with uh, many amounts around eighty thousand, seventy thousand dollars that we give him. Um, he's been with us also. He understands us and all of that. And so Chris Hilton will be good uh, one replacement for Tuado. But let's see how things go. Um, in uh, um, as and when any updates comes, we will be giving you about the Tuchel story, the Kwesiapia story. Um, I can tell you on authority that they are not true. So. Let's see how things go over there for the next Blaster Squish. Please do also subscribe to the channel or hit the notification bell. And select or like this video and leave your thoughts and comments below in the comment section. Who do you think should be our next Blaster Squish? Kwasia Pia, Thomas Tuchel, Chris Hilton. Um, even Herbert, Heavy Renard. Heavy Renard is also in the news um, or on the short list of the Ghana Football Association. They are still monitoring and hoping that they will get him from South, Saudi Arabia and all of that. Thank you very much for staying. Definitely. I'll see you in the next update. Bye-bye.